C charge. Step 1. Prepare the material for the charge construction. Cut the backing material in about an 8 inch square. Note, backing material should be relatively heavy cardboard. Apply double sided tape along three edges of the backing material forming a C shape. Ensure that the closed end of the C is in line with one edge of the backing material. Note, leave the protective cover on the outside of the tape until ready to apply the detonating cord. Cut the required amount of detonating cord long enough to form a C on the outer edge of the C created with a double sided tape. Note: To help with the measurement for correct length of detonating cord, lay the first piece of cord along the outer edge of the C created by the double sided tape. Follow the outer edge of the C starting at the top of the opening. Travel along the outer edge of the backing material and return to the bottom of the opening. Cut off the first piece. Use the length of the first piece of detonating cord and cut a template. Cut the remaining number of pieces of detonating cord for the charge. Cut a 30 inch length of deck cord and set it aside. Use this piece to prime the charge. Step 2. Attach the explosive. Remove the protective cover from the double sided tape and press the first piece of detonating cord in place along the outside edge of the double sided tape. Form a C shape ensuring that the closed end of the C is in line with the back edge of the backing material by pressing them one piece at a time inside the previous piece working towards the center. Place the correct number of detonating cord pieces. Tape the detonating cord to the double sided tape with electrical tape every two to four inches starting about two inches from the opened end of the C. Trim the ends of the detonating cord evenly on both sides. Step three, prime the charge. Form a bite in a 30 inch piece of detonating cord previously cut by bending in half. Connect the two lengths of detonating cord by wrapping a piece of electrical tape around both ends about four inches from the end of the bite. Line the ends of the two lengths of detonating cord up with the ends of detonating cord that make up the charges. Prime the charge by laying the lengths of detonating cord on top of the charge and holding it in place with duct tape. Cover all the detonating cord with waterproof tape. Ensure the detonating cord is completely covered with the tape. Step 4. Construct a charge attachment system. Ensure that the charge is facing up and mark a spot on the backing material in the center of the C, about 2 and a fifth inches from the edge of the backing material with the opened end of the C. Make cuts 2 to 3 inches long forming a star at the spot marked on the backing material. This will form an area to press the charge over the doorknob. Caution. Do not cut closer than one inch from the straight edge of the charge. Personal injury or damage to equipment may result from long-term failure to follow the correct procedures. Apply double-sided tape to the back of the charge on three sides of the backing material, forming a C in the same manner as the front side. Note, leave protective cover on the outside of the tape. Apply the waterproof tape to the protective cover of the double-sided tape. Cut the waterproof tape the same width as the double-sided tape so it does not overlap and stick to the backing material. Extend the waterproof tape about one inch past the edge on the top side of the C opening and fold it back against the self forming a pull tab. Note, this will allow quick removal of the protective cover from the double sided tape so the charge can be stuck to its target.